The OnePlus 3 has only been out for six months and OnePlus decided it was time for an upgrade so they pushed out the OnePlus 3T. I guess they never settle. I'll show myself out. But yeah, it's pretty much the same phone, but with a bump in specs, better front facing camera, a slightly darker finish, and an extra $40. Not a bad move. Now, I've been using the OnePlus 3 since it was released, and I definitely had a great experience, so to hear OnePlus release a successor just a few months later is just mind boggling. They even sent out some extra goodies like the version 2 Bullets earphones, which sound amazing, a leather luggage bag for my messenger bag, which is not a purse. Okay, it's, it's a messenger bag, a wooden case, and a t-shirt that says Dash Charge, cause why not? Also, if you're looking to get into the holiday spirit or just want a sexy design, I'm rocking a skin by Slick Wraps that makes the 3T look like a Christmas present, and I kinda dig it. They also have plenty of other skins for plenty of other devices, so I'll drop a link right below that like button if you wanna spice things up a bit. With the phone itself, I mean it looks exactly like its predecessor, design-wise, only difference being that it has a different color known as gunmetal, Ooh, the OnePlus 3 has more of a silver tone and when you put the two next to each other, only then can you really tell the difference. There's also a soft gold option with a white front, but I couldn't get my hands on that, unfortunately. Within the phone itself, you now have the latest processor, the Snapdragon 821 chip clocked at 2.35 GHz, and since it still has a whopping 6 GB of RAM, this is technically the fastest smartphone of 2016 on paper. Even outshining the Google Pixel, which has the same processor, but it's officially clocked at 2.15 GHz. Obviously, that's not a huge difference. We're talking milliseconds faster, but it's good to know that this phone will show little to no lag when opening apps, or navigating through them, taking a quick photo, or booting up faster. Not to mention that they managed to pack a bigger battery capacity in the same dimensions. Specifically, 3,400 milliamp hours over the 3,000 milliamp hours found on the OnePlus 3. That essentially gives you more screen on time and I could easily get through the entire day without having to charge up the device once. You still have that amazing fast charging method called Dash Charge with a USB Type-C port which allows you to fully charge the 3T in under an hour. That's something we don't usually see on other flagships that come with USB Type-C and I can't even find myself having to leave the phone charging overnight as it's just that fast. Oxygen OS 3.5.4 is still its main software which I'm okay with. It's definitely not stock Android, but it's close, and it's still on Marshmallow, but I've seen Android Nougat on Oxygen OS, and oh man, does it look pretty. Without going into too many details, the notification, control panel, recent menu, settings, clear all button, power menu, new gesture and button controls, OnePlus launcher, night mode, split screen, and much more are all new and improved features expected to come on the 3T. And I already have some of those features even with Marshmallow pre-installed on the 3T. I can take a screenshot with a three finger swipe, flip the device on an incoming call to mute it, long press on the recent button to open the last app used or tons of other actions, and lock access to any app on the phone with a fingerprint. There's plenty of other minor modifications that I've left out, but that's basically what Oxygen OS has going for itself, a useful yet attractive UI. The primary camera on the OnePlus 3T is just a copy and paste from its predecessor. The only change here would be that it has sapphire lens for extra protection, a manual settings mode, and new software stabilization when shooting some video. It's still a good camera, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The front facing camera on the other hand has bumped up to 16 megapixels so you can step up your selfie game on Snapchat. The quality is there, okay? You have very wide angles, decent colors, and dynamic range. It's just a matter of getting your friends to be in one. And if you're shooting all those pixels, you're probably going to need that extra space. So instead of adding expandable storage, OnePlus just went with a 128 gigabyte variant for $479. Honestly, that's more than enough for most people, including myself, especially with plenty of cloud storages at your disposal. The display is still the same 5.5 inch 1080p AMOLED display. I mean, most people were probably expecting Quad HD at this point, but I'm actually fine with a 1080p display. On the bright side, you're getting a better battery life as it's not pushing out as many pixels, and even though it's not as crispy as some other flagships released this year, most people won't be able to tell the difference unless they hold it next to a Galaxy S7 or Pixel XL. Other minor mentions is that it still supports all US major carriers, it has an insanely fast fingerprint sensor with two LED capacitive buttons represented by dots on the side, the same aluminum build, two SIM tray slots, a headphone port, 
the alert slider, and a single downward facing speaker. All these features we've seen before on the OnePlus 3. Like I said, it's honestly just the OnePlus 3 with a few upgrades on top for $40 to $80 extra. If you're one of those people who just bought the OnePlus 3, I'd say keep that phone and wait till newer flagships come out in 2017. It's not a big enough upgrade for the extra $440 if you already spent $400 a few months back. Plus that smartphone is still a really good phone, definitely in my list for the best three smartphones of 2016. The 3T is suited more towards those who are still rocking a one to two year old device and don't want to spend a fortune for a greatly spec device. With that being said, let me know in the comments what you think about OnePlus's new release. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this review and I will catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!